and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. My name is Wolverine and previously we've, well, chucked all this stuff in a crevasse, which we weren't supposed to do. So, I'm going to have another stab at it. This is probably even more silly than what I tried last time. That, that was even, even sillier. I didn't think I could drop that. Ah! The thing about these magic floating brick things is, oops, they don't start magic floating until you hit them. There we go. Attach. So now, if I let go of it, now it floats. It just holds its position in the sky, whereas what I did was drop it down a crevasse. Yep without switching it on. And speaking of crevasses, here's another one. Hmm, looks like I'll be using that again. Ooh, ladders. What are they there for? Any particular reason? Jump. Up oh, the ladders. No. No reason whatsoever. Good. <coughs> oh, this big platform, thanks. And I can change its position. Doop, doop. There we go. We've got a slope. There you go. Stay there, please. Just define the laws of physics. Fantastic. Oh, there's more. Grand. At least nothing's trying to kill me for the time being. Okay. We've got a little ball on some hot coals for some reason and there's the thing it needs to go in there you go <clears throat> and right I mean I could just chuck it over there couldn't I? Ooh a chest I can have that chest first <clears throat> pop that there just slightly rotate you there we go And that's a jump. I should be able to make that. Yep. 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 No. Nope. I ain't Mario. A little bit more. Ow, my head. Ow, my head. Yep. Okay, now that's slightly too high up now. <clears throat> no, there's three of these. Yep. Magical green chest. Containing five arrows. Fantastic. Because I do occasionally accidentally fling an arrow off a cliff and into the sea. Right, what's this thing? I thought I could manipulate this somehow. I wonder where it is. Recall, no. Stick? No. Not really sure what the deal is with this thing. Kind of want to find out now. I'm sure it's related to how to get across here with the ball. It's a very big hole in the ground. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, hang on, that's wrong. Magic hand trick. Right. Boop, boop, boop. Come over here. Try to step away from there. Stepping stones it is then. <clears throat> I feel like I've missed a very important part of this puzzle, but hey ho. Stepping stones. There we go. Three, that'd be enough. I'll do a fourth. Jump. Oh. oh, wait, no, it didn't drop. Oh, what did I just do? Open the map? Why is open the map an option on this thing? That's silly. 
<clears throat> I know which button opens the map. Get close. Too close. Okay. Should be able to jump across that. Pull that up. I said grab that. I don't know what your deal is, Link, but uh Jump. Oh. Oh dear. Oh whoops. Oh good, it's uh magically reappeared. Right, I'll attach it to each of these stepping stones in turn and not drop it into the abyss. Yep. One more. Um, dude. Hang on, can I just get it all the way up? There we go. That'll do. Up. Up. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh. I have regret. <laughs> well, at least the punishment wasn't too severe. It's just put us back on the cliff and everything else is where it was. Uh, oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Link and Super Mario are two very different people. Link can't jump to save his life. I mean, he's carrying like 50 weapons, so whatever. Oh, oh fl how is this so hard? I did it like three times already. Oh, hang on. Wait, there may be consequences if I fall again. To eat something. Um, meaty rice balls. Nom nom. Yes, rice is a thing in this game. Yep. Yep. Oh, no, that looks too far. Yep, too far. Ow! Well, I'm glad I ate those meaty rice balls. <clears throat> Maybe a running jump for that last one. Yep. Doesn't help that the run button and the jump button are in slightly different parts of the keypad, so you can't go from one to the other very quickly. So, thumb... Ow! <laughs> yep, see, I can't press run then jump. <clears throat> it's a very odd thing. Oh, that's a bad idea. I'll just move one of the stepping stones closer. Seeing as I clearly can't make that small jump. Uh, a bit closer. Okay, that'll do. Yep. Yep, there we go. We're across. There we go. Ball in socket. Jobs are good and we probably missed something fairly important, but we got the main thing, which is not a spirit orb, it's a light orb. Because our arm is cursed. And that's why we have so few hearts. Visited to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. This is a different ancient evil than we were dealing with last time, by the way. It's another guy. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Not all evil, just a teeny tiny bit. <clears throat> so the hand itself isn't evil, it's just kind of containing an evil. Look closely, you'll see a little bit of evil smoke come off it in a moment. Teeny tiny bit. Very faint. And there you go. Slightly better. Job done. Light of blessing. Aha! We have enough for an upgrade. Fantastic. We can get one of our hearts back or possibly some stamina wheels, which is also gone. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Yeah, the strength that I lost fighting off this guy called the Demon King, who is the other never-ending curse of Hyrule. This hand was in fact holding it in place. I should probably cover this at some point, but uh, I got too excited and just started playing the game. <laughs> Let me tell you though, it's an absolute nightmare trying to get to the exact same place in this game that I was in the other game when I stopped 
playing the other game and started playing this game. It doesn't make it easy for you to cross the map, but you can do it if you're determined and you know your way. Right, uh, we need to pray at something. I think there's a shrine in the Zora town. Wow, this water is really deep. Oh, you're doing your water filtration job. Right, okay, we're high up and we need to get low down, so let's... Ooh, why is there so much water here? So let's take a route and um, fly, I suppose. It's a very unusual looking thing. It reminds me of those weird towers that we occasionally climb up. That sometimes have a chest on them or just have a really good vantage point. But this is one of the many ruins that have fallen from the sky and there's another one coming down now. Oh, nobody stood under it when it hits the ground. Everybody all right down there? They'll be fine. It's not falling that quickly. Uh, not sure how good Link is at climbing upside down at this stage. It's It kind of puts a tr strain on him. Yep, yep, there it goes. All of his stamina went in one go. You can do it, you just need to have a lot of stamina. <coughs> right. Ooh, what that? Oh, it's just one of those little towers that the goblins build. Right, next job. Adventure log. Sidon of the Zora. Met with Sidon. Speaking with Jahato at Toto Lake. May yield information about Princess Zelda. Okay. So, oh, it's not far from here. He's, he's actually very close. Oh, I, I just didn't notice him. <laughs> One of the elders, isn't he? Uh, Jahato? Are you Jahato? I thought we already spoke. Is that Oh, You're not Jahato. You're Riven. Mm, sounds like a character out of Star Wars. There's side on him. Anything else to say? Ah! Anything you worry about? Jihato, tell him where he is. Ah. Toss his Jihato story in Jihato with investigating the ruin fragments and any history books within the sky. I believe that Princess Zelda's whereabouts are related to floating islands or ruins speak with him. Currently, it conducts an investigation at Toto Lake, which is northwest of here. Right. No, that's fine. Huh? What? Have you perchance been to the Skyview Tower which you can see just over yonder? I have not. Piora asked me to allow her to build this in order to create a map. Naturally, I did not hesitate to allow it. We do not quite how understand how she plans to use it to create a map, but I am sure she knows what she is doing. Yes. The mountains around here are dangerous, so it would be most useful for you to have a map. You're not wrong, mate. <clears throat> You're not wrong. An up-to-date map would be good. So yeah, Link did have very detailed maps of all of Hyrule at the end of the last game, or most people who play it do. And then the upheaval happened, and suddenly all those maps are completely irrelevant and useless. Hey, oh. Are these things I can use? <laughs> yes, they are. Interesting. Um... So, luckily, this person called Pura, who I don't think I'd quite met yet in the other game, but she sorts you out with things, and she's come up with a solution. We have to go to these towers that she's built all over the place. Whoa, what just happened? A really big shadow just cast over the land. Ooh, the day and night cycles in this game are still a bit odd. Right, those are just two floating rocks. I could use them to make something, but I'm not really sure what I'd make with them. I do, however, have another trick. I need to get a very, very long distance, and I don't have enough stamina just to use my little paraglider thing to get over there. However, I do have something in my inventory that I can use. 
a Zonai device. Notably, a wing. Take out device. No! No, no! No, no! <laughs> I need that! Damn it! Oh, good, it's not gone too far. <laughs> that was quite silly of me. So, yeah. This is a Zonai device. You can just take it out wherever you like. And once it's out, that's it, it's stuck there. Uh, Zonai are these guys who live in the sky and gave me the arm and all that stuff. But they have all this wonderful technology which you can use to do things. Uh, notably, fly. Now, controlling this thing is going to be fairly difficult. Because we don't have a control stick. Um, but we do have a fan so we can give it a bit of juice. Oh good, that one didn't really fly off the edge of the world. So I'll just stick that here. Oh. Yep, arrow it again. Oh, I, I completely read this. Okay, so. Point it the right way. No, it wasn't even attached. This is going to give us a little bit of thrust. It's going to send us off this cliff. And we need to head in that direction. So I just need to pick it up and rotate that way. And drop it there. Point it in the general direction of where I want to go and whack. Okay, that didn't quite work as well as I'd hoped. If I just perch it on the edge, that might be uh, possibly the worst decision I've ever made. But it will start to fly. I'll place it properly. Right, jump on. No! Oh, oh no! I have definitely used one of these things successfully before, and now it's probably flown off the edge of the world. Oh no, there it is. The trick with these things is getting them to set off in the first place. They do have this awful habit of just sitting there, <laughs> doing nothing. Right. It's probably too low now to actually get me all the way over there, but anyhow. So Link's got this wee battery attached to his waist. It powers these things, but only for a brief period. Doesn't necessarily need power to set this one off. Oh, this might be it. This might work. Come on, you stupid bird. Oh, you're about as much use as a chocolate fire guard, really. I swear, they, they've got, like, glue on them on the bottom or something. Oh, for goodness sakes. Yep, yep. Just about ready to give up on this idea. Huh? Ah! And it's flown off. Oh, there it is. It's upside down in the water. This is going perfectly well. This is exactly what I expected to happen. Maybe it'll take off from water. Oh, that's embarrassing. Right, do you float? No. Great. <sighs> yes, let's use this fantastic machinery to do things. Then we can get it to move. Ever to move. Right, how about, does this, is this okay? Does this work for you? Absolutely not. Nothing, nothing. Else. Nope, wrong button. Pop me there. Yeah. Oh, it's falling. Show, move, damn you. Oh, <laughs> it's finally working. Right, okay. 
long as I have charge, I can move. And if I move around on the wing, I can change its direction. However, I don't have that much charge and I'm about to fall from the sky. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I don't fall straight from the sky, because sky, these things are fantastic gliders. However, I don't have nearly enough power to get up there. And I can't restart it until my battery is fully depleted. Well, that was a waste of time. Huh. You have to figure out another way to get up there without cheating. First, there we go. Good old reliable glider. I don't think it's the same glider, you know, it's purple. I think the old one was brown. Right, first, I am going to pray to a goddess. What's up? What do you do? Hiya! Too slow, far too slow. What's too slow? Report! What is he thinking? Time is of the essence. The cliffs at the shore of Toto Lake crumbled due to the upheaval. Miraculously, an ancient ruin appeared. I'm pleased that Prince Sidon has asked the Zora historian Jihato to investigate. However, he is far too interested in satisfying his curiosity for those ruins and simply will not provide us with a report. I understand that historians believe there's a labour of passion, but sometimes that perspective is downright impractical. Never mind, my apologies, there's no point in troubling you. So, Jihato really is a problem. At the moment he's my problem, I need to find him. But I'm going to get more s hearts because I'm sick of being one-shotted by everybody in the game. And I think there's one of those things you pray to downstairs. Bye-bye. Didn't know there was a floor there. Good. Is it in here? No, it is not. I thought it was. What that? Oh, it's gone, whatever it was. I don't know where the thing that you pray to is. I'm sure there's one in the Zora's domain somewhere. Like a statue of a goddess. Hmm. Oh, wait, is it in the. Um, in the inn? Hey, how are you doing? Statue of the Ancient Goddess? No, I think it's downstairs. All the way at the bottom. Excuse me. Here we go. No, there's nothing down here. Ooh, there's another one of those um, shrine things, though. That's useful. Could have another warp point at any time. Statue of the Goddess? There's probably one around here somewhere. I think I only ever went to the one in... Um <coughs> Ooh, what's this? It's a bright-eyed crab. Appears when it rains, one bite of its selectable meat, and you'll forget all your exhaustion. Replenish stamina. Great. <coughs> hmm. Would have preferred a statue of the goddess. I don't think where there is one, actually. Well, whilst I'm here, I might as well activate this shrine. A to activate. It's bigger on the inside. Surprised to find another shrine here. You think they'd be spaced out further? Oh, I have a horse. Horse's name is. Horse's name is. Pudge. Pudge the horse. The horse is black and it has a white mane. Right, the power of water. There's some water. There's the door. And there's a fan that 
Apparently needs electricity. And this is some sort of a battery. Okay. Charge the what battery up here, maybe? Aha! That looks like where the battery goes. Drop that there. Okay. Um, spin that round. Oh. Aha! It's a water wheel. But it's only got one. Attach this to the other side. Attach. Okay. Now, spin it. No, spin it. Oh, goodness. Really? Spin, damn you, spin now. Oh, goodness sakes. Hydroelectricity, everybody. There we go. Fully charged already. Sweet. Fantastic. Now let's go and plug this in over here. Somewhere. I don't know where. Aha, there. Hang on, I'm not plugging it in until I'm inside this little thing. Ah, damn it, I dropped the hydroelectric battery. Fantastic power source if, you get, if you've got the uh, geography for it. I think it's upside down, I don't think it matters. Right, great, up we go. Not sure where we're going, but we're going up. I kind of thought that was the end of the problems. Aha! Oh! This is the end. That was just like a side quest area. Well, I want to have at least a go at the side quest. I could just fly over the top. <laughs> Couple of balls. Aha! Ha ha ha! <laughs> Fun fact about electricity, it goes right through water. That can often work to your disadvantage. <laughs> Go and recharge it. Try again. There is, however, a problem with this plan. I only need to go through the water. Ooh, a chest. The water that will have a large electric current passing through it. I'm sure there's a solution to that. A magic scepter, that's an interesting one. Long and mysterious magical rod is said to have been wielded by an ancient magician who awoke the latent power of gems. Right, what do I throw out? Bouncy bat, that can go. Nice little change to the inter uh, user interface there. You don't have to manually go into your menu and dump something that you don't need anymore. I like. Yeah, some goblin decided to attach mushrooms to her. Ah! It's not flowing straight through. Good. I can control the path by using this. Ah! It's attached to a chain. Excellent. Ah! Damn it! together. Hopefully they won't fly apart. Right, good. Electricity is doing what electricity does best and it's taking the shortest route through a circuit. And not electrifying the entire pool, which is what other games used to do with electricity. An old pool. Great. Ah, oh, my battery needs recharging again. Okay. Oh, is it holding like 40 watts? Rapid charge. And it's done. I wish it didn't discharge quite so quickly. Right, I need to get into that fan. Electricity is something you come to understand quite well in this game because you keep getting shocked by it all the time. Right. Well then look, you dropped it in exactly the right place. Almost makes it look like you know what you're doing. 
Okay, give me another thing that I need to use somewhere. Slightly disappointing thing about these shrines is the dudes inside are always in the same pose. So the one on the left is supposed to be a Hylia and the one on the right is supposed to be a, a Zonai. They look a bit like a really big-eared goat and I disapprove of goats quite a lot. Right, I need to find somewhere to spend these things. Get my hearts and stuff back. You actually start the game with a full set of hearts and as soon as I saw it I thought, right, something awful is about to happen. <laughs> so that's how these games work. That battery symbol is the batteries I can use to charge Zonai devices. <coughs> Apparently I can expand that. Next time, if you have been, thank you for watching. I've been Will Green, this has been Tears of the Kingdom, Tatibai. Mm -hmm.